Hello guys, Arkin here. I just want to take some time to tell you guys that we have a Patreon set up for the channel. It's an additional way you can support us. So I will put the link in the YouTube cards and in the description. Thanks for checking it out and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have at it, little guy. Your lips latch onto the bull's tip and begin to suckle. The rich creamy milk begins to gush into your mouth. Oh, damn, you are hungry. You nurse on his udders until you feel an arm pull you away. Have some of my milk too. Uh-uh, yeah. Okay, guys, I think the next scenes might be too sexual for me to fully narrate again on YouTube. So the routine is, again, I will skip ahead and provide some previews of the naughty scenes along the way and then after i will provide a summary of what they did so see you in a bit your mouth happily attaches to red's muscular chest and begins to drink his gushing milk as well the two minotaurs seem to take great pleasure from your feeding they begin to kiss and suck on each other's tongues while you nurse on their nips soon something firm prods your chest as you slurp on their udders the orange horned bull kisses you deeply once more your mouth is stuffed with oranges a thick muscle it tasted just as good as reds okay so quick summary of what they did so Torben was nursing from the pecs of red and then from orange and then red and orange kissed and they were feeling good and then now uh, they decided red and orange decided that they want to keep uh, Torben for themselves because Torben makes them feel good better than the other bulls in the herd so we'll see what happens next this feels way better than the other pools in the pile. I agree. Let's keep Torin for ourselves. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Let's get him back inside for some more fun. Come with us, Torin. The two head back towards the barn. You follow them, still thirsty for more of their delicious milk. All you can think about as you watch them leave is the warm, creamy liquid that makes all your aches and worrisome thoughts drift away. You follow Red and Orange back to the barn. As you walk, you hear a clunking noise. Looking around, you see nothing and continue. As you take another step, the noise returns. What the hell is that noise? Suddenly you realize it's coming from your damaged armor. The armor that protects you, ensuring your survival through so many battles is now scratched and warped. As you look at the worn metal and cloth, no longer do memories of past battles and skirmishes come to mind. Now you look upon your gear with mild annoyance. You discard your equipment outside the barn and quickly catch up to the other two. Okay, and now let us appreciate Torben in his full glory for a moment. I guess you are right. Clothing just gets in the way. Don't you feel much better? Yes, I do. How about we all help each other feel better? Well, Toadie is new here. How about you show him how we do this? Damn it, that's not my uh-uh. Orange leans down and his lips suck onto your bare chest. The bull's broad tongue drags across your nipple and a bolt of pleasure rockets through your body. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I think I need to break it again because it might be too sensual again for YouTube. So I will skip ahead and provide previews of the naughty scenes along the way and then provide a summary after. So see you in a bit. Red takes advantage of your parted lips and kisses you deeply. The moment his tongue met yours, all you want is to taste the inside of the bull's hot mouth. The red-horned bull starts to suck on your other nipple, and just like the first time, another jolt of pleasure shoots from your surprisingly sensitive flesh. The increase of sensitivity is not limited to just your nipples. Your body is overwhelmed by the mind-numbing pleasure coming from your crotch. No fair. Why does he get to try your milk first? Because you got to try his milk first. Fine then. Hurry up and then we can see who has the better tasting milk. Okay guys, a quick summary of what they did. So they brought Torben into the barn. And Red and Orange uh, tried to get some milk from Torben. 
but they were confused that no milk was coming out of uh, Torben's pecs. And, and then they tried to get some milk from Torben's uh, jick. And then, of course, Torben felt good. And then uh, later, Red and Orange offered to Torben to try it with them, to try getting milk from them again. So uh, Torben was also touching their jicks, Red and Orange's jicks, and then uh, also sucking their pecs to get milk. And uh, they were confused. Red and Orange were confused that... Uh, how can Torben still be drinking? He was continuously drinking and they found out that he's getting bigger. So we'll find about that in the next few sentences, next few lines. So let's read on. Quite some time passes by and you're still sucking down every drop of milk the two bulls have to give. How can he still be drinking? I don't know, but uh, uh, it feels so good. Come now, give it a break. We have to get the others back inside. Why don't you take care of that and I'll just keep feeding Tor uh, this guy. Red grabs Orange by his horns and pulls him up. No way I'm going to let you slack off with him. Now come before the others get impatient. Fine, it does look like the sun is about to set. Reluctantly, Orange pulls you off his chicken and helps you up to your feet. Um, has he always been this big? Now that you mention it, he does seem bigger. With how much milk he just drank, I guess that makes sense. Oh yeah, he did just drink a lot. Alright, big guy, we're going to get the others back into the barn for bed. You can sleep anywhere on the ground here. The two bulls leave you alone in the barn. You feel a lot heavier than normal. Your belly gurgles, yet you still have the desire to drink more of these bulls' milk. You remember that you needed to do something, to go somewhere, but you were also tired. <sighs> Maybe after some sleep, you'll remember where you needed to be. Finding a comfy pile of hay, you roll over onto your back and soon doze off. You wake up with the vague memories of a nightmare where you were being chased by big guys with weapons. Looking around, you only see a barn full of bulls. Why can't I remember? You are too upset to go back to bed. It looks like everyone was sound asleep and you heard your stomach gurgle in the darkness. Perhaps a midnight snack will help me go back to bed. Next to your sleeping area is orange and red. The two are laying side by side, face up. Who do you drink from? Okay, so there's choice. <laughs> there's a choice between red and orange. I think I like red more, a little more. So let's go for red. You look over at red and creep up beside him. As he sleeps, your mouth quietly finds his nipple in the dark and latches on. Gently suckling, you are rewarded with a creamy flow of warm milk. Red appears to be a heavy sleeper. He doesn't move at all as you nibble and suck on his leaky udder. You rest your head onto his firm pecs and fall asleep like a baby nursing on his mother. The next day, someone shakes you gently awake. Huh? Morning, sleepyhead. It's almost noon. If you're staying with us, we could use a hand with some chores today. Okay. You stretch and let out a loud burp. The two bulls start laughing. What's so funny? We woke up this morning and you were lying between us, licking our chest. I swear, your stomach must be a bottomless pit. We can eat when we get back. You scratch your head as you have the feeling that you are supposed to be doing something important. Still not able to recall what it was, you shrug and go to help your bull friends. Following them to the other side of the barn, you discover a cellar entrance. The entryway is wide enough to fit at least two bulls down the steps. In the underground room, there were buckets and barrels as well as shelves packed full of cheese wheels. This is the dairy. Check it out. 
This is where we take extra milk and turn it into butter and cheese. You're going to help us make some butter today. You've never made butter before, let alone milking a cow before. Thinking about milk makes your mouth water. Because it's cooler here, we can keep milk longer without it spoiling. Not that milk lasts long between us thirsty bulls. Orange and Red grab a few buckets that have a wooden stick coming out the covered top. These are butter churns. We just pour the milk in here and move the stick. After a while, it turns into butter and cream. Here's some cream collected yesterday. The Red Horned Bull grabs a barrel and pours out its contents into each of the churns. All you do is move the stick up and down. After a little while, we get butter and buttermilk inside a churn. The bulls start churning their butter. Since you arrived in the realm of the minotaurs, you come to appreciate how simple their lifestyle is. Thump, thump, thump. The bulls work their sticks in a steady rhythm. The simple task of pumping the stick up and down gives your mind time to wander. The more you think about the peacefulness of this place, the further your days of fighting and heroism seemed. Minutes fly by as you zone out working your butter churn. You eventually notice the stick is much harder to move. Looks like we're done. I think you're right. Just dig out the butter with the stick and pour the milk back into this big bucket. You open the lid to find a glob of thick creamy butter. After cleaning up, Red offers you a dollop of yellow glob. It tastes incredibly sweet and melts the moment it hits your tongue. I'll wash the churns. Let me help. The two bulls leave you alone in the cellar. Never have you tasted fresh butter before today. You start to wonder what the other dairy products taste like. Help yourself to some samples? Uh, no or yes. Uh, I'm getting flashbacks of playing Skyrim and finding cheese wheels that you can steal <laughs> on the shelves or anywhere. So I'm feeling like no. I think our main character is a righteous hero, so I think no is the correct answer. Perhaps it is more polite to ask. You leave the cellar to help Red and Orange with more chores. The next few days pass in much the same way. You'd wait to either Orange or Red feeding you their fresh milk. After maintaining the barn, you spend most of your time sucking down Minotaur milk and chicken. One afternoon, you are out helping gather wood and foraging in the forest. As the heat of the day begins to beat down, you decide to take a quick dip in the cool water of the creek. As you hop into the crystal clear waters, you look down to see your reflection. Something seemed really odd. As you scratch your head again, your fingers hit something thick and move your whole skull. You brush your fur back to find a pair of horns poking out. Horns? You panic. You're not supposed to have horns. Are you? A loud splash nearby grabs your attention. Oh, the water feels great. Hey, what's wrong? I, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. What are these? Well, those are your horns, silly. Okay, but why do I have horns? I don't know. All bulls have horns. But uh, I'm not a bull. You look like one to me. You look at your reflection again and study the burly man staring back at you. Questions float around in your head. Okay, let's look at him. Yep, he is now a bull. <laughs> he has transformed. Were you always this tall? Why does your chest tingle? Has your jick always been this huge? Oh, it is now a, a bull jick. <laughs> Okay, here we have uh, a nice CG of Tormen being licked by red and orange. Uh, his nips are being licked <laughs> and they are getting milk from Tormen. See, you're big, strong, and of course, milk. The other bull grabs your chests and squeezes. Pleasure and milk erupt from your chits as orange giggles and licks up the creamy liquid. Okay guys, I think the next scenes again are too sexual for me to fully narrate on YouTube, so you know what I'll do? 
I will skip ahead and provide some previews of the naughty scenes along the way. And after, I will give a summary of what they did. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so uh, Torben's jick has now enlarged and inflated. It is now very big and long, like a log. <laughs> So now Torben has erupted like a volcano, like a hot spring gushing forth water, hot water. <laughs> and now this CG shows Torben has finished erupting. The white cream is just trickling down the side of his jick. A curious scent catches your nose and pulls your focus away. You sniff at orange and then red. Oh no, this isn't going inside your mouth today. Red, turn around and bend over. As your bull cream gushes into Red's backside, the other bull groans and his hands wrap around his growing belly. That looked fun. Do me next. He really seems to like it, pushing his fuzzy butt back against your thrusts. You are more than happy that Orange is helping you fulfill your duty to the herd by blessing it with more calves. Okay guys, so summary of what they did. They did a lot, by the way. First, Red and Orange were sucking on Torben's tits when he was lying on the grass and, you know, pleasuring Torben. And Torben was stimulated. Eventually, his jick became hard and it grew. And then at some point from the pleasure, Torben erupted. And then after, Torben smelled something smelled a certain scent and he got aroused more and then he found out torben found out that the scent was coming from red's butt and torben smelled red's butt and he got you know extremely horny <laughs> extremely aroused and he torben wanted to breed red so torben inserted his big big jick into red and pumped him thrusted him and eventually he released his cream inside red making red full orange was watching the whole time and was getting curious and aroused so after torben was done with red orange was ready so torben went over to orange and just you know slip slipped his jick right in right into orange and began thrusting thrusting and again after that after those motions he filled orange too with his cream made his belly round and now uh torben is feeling sated now he's done he spent so this is what we read right now so let's continue Finally feeling sated, you fall back into the water and let the cold, refreshing stream wash over your heated body. Laying there beneath the rushing water, your mind feels at peace. All your worries and questions were answered. This is where you were supposed to be. You are here to protect your herd and spend your days drinking delicious bull milk and breeding more bulls with your minotaur companions. What remains of the hero bear warrior, Torben, became lost in the tides of oblivion. The memories of another life end here, and all that is left is a hulking alpha minotaur and the rebirth of the minotaur people to the shattered realms. End. Okay, so that was the story of Hero of Minotaurs. Reading that ending, it's kind of sad that Torben, you know, never got back to his old life of being a hero and uh, doing heroic deeds. But it seems that that was the intention of the developer to lead Torben to this realm and make him become one with the Minotaurs and become a Minotaur himself and join the herd because there wasn't, there seemed to be no option to or no choice to let Torben remember what he was supposed to do, what he was, uh, what he was meant to do to find a way out of the realm so I think he's really meant to become a minotaur but it's still kind of sad you know thinking that he he's trapped there forever and he can never become a hero again anyway 
If you guys like that, I hope you can leave me a like on this video and maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. And I want you guys to take some time to appreciate something in your life today. And I will see you on the next Let's Read. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!